All right, back for another beer review. And today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from Hot Butcher for the World. And they're out of Chicago, Illinois. And this is their Green Fly. So they're calling this one a Waimea and Simcoe Hopped Double IPA. It comes at 7.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less than time of review. This can is approximately three weeks old. I'm gonna give a huge thanks. Shout out once again to Hot Butcher for this beer. So big thanks to them in the description box. I'll post a link to the beer mail video I did that contains all the goodies they hooked me up with. And uh, I'm really excited about this one. Why? It's a 7.5% double IP from Hot Butcher. Enough said. Plus, on top of that, um, the Waimea and Simcoe kind of hop combo. Very intrigued because I can't say I've seen that hop combo before. So I don't know what to expect. I, I feel, oh man. A little bit of a overfill. We'll clean up momentarily, but give it a nice pour here into the glass. Do something like that. Grab a uh, paper towel here and uh, clean up where everything went. <laughs> All over the place. Yeah. So nice. Um, I really like the artwork, like most of Hop Butcher. Very simplistic. Green fly. Just really nice. I'm gonna throw this over here and uh I can smell it <laughs> from you know a foot and a half away. And uh beautiful looking beer though. Uh it has that murky, we'll we'll turn it around so you can see it a little bit better, but has that like murky uh yellow orange color, um very turbid. Can't see through it at all. About a almost a three finger of a soap sudsy meets creamy looking head. It kind of looks soap sudsy from some angles. From other angles, it looks super creamy. Um, but yeah, it's like off white, I'd say the head. But yeah, nice looking beer. It's, it's a good nose. I'll be, I'll remember hopefully to read the taste notes at the end. I'm super old, so sometimes I forget. Yeah, that's really nice. Ooh, big juicy and candied kind of like citrus and stone fruit vibe. There's orange, there's tangelo, so tangerine and a grapefruit, very juicy uh, smelling. Like it just smells like you just, like when you're going to bite a tangelo, like a piece of it, like that explosion of juiciness, but in the aroma. Sounds kind of wild. But yeah, there's a candy peach, almost peach gummy rings, mango, apricot, nectarine. Yeah. And then there's this touch of like a, like a passion fruit and a pineapple. More of the passion fruit almost has like a, a tartness kind of aroma to it. And then there's this really nice, earthy, grassy, kind of herbaceous tone. Not really dank. Yeah, more grassy, earthy, herbaceous. Oh, it smells fucking dynamite. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again to Hot Butcher. This is what I love in terms of the body and mouthfeel from these 7.5% double IPAs from Pop Butcher. When I see that 7.5% and it is a double IPA, I, I just know more often than not, the body and mouthfeel are gonna be spectacular. And that's what's happening here. Body's like a little bit over medium, maybe even low full, has a thickness to it, but not like overly done. The mouthfeel, it's super soft, smooth and creamy. Real nice creaminess. What I like about this is I'm getting a nice like pop of bitterness, which I didn't expect. Right at the front, there's a quick, dives right in and out, but juicy tangelo. You could say orange, tangerine, grapefruit, but I'm getting more of like a, a, a sweeter grapefruit, tangerine kind of combination, so I just default to tangelo when I say that. Um, that's right, the tip of the tongue. As it passes through that candied stone fruit I was talking about, and it's like, it's not straight peach gummy rings, it's just like a sweeter uh, peach, mango, apricot, nectarine. You could say any of those fruits and probably be right. It's not only those are candy, but they almost have like a creamy sensation, like a creamy innards of like a mango or maybe like a papaya or something like that. Just mm. um, second half of the palate is where that grassy, green, herbaceous kind of earthy tone hits. And it's moderate. This is moderately bitter. Kind of has a nice a hop resin kind of feel on the back of the palate. It's not it's not green. There isn't like a green astringency or hot burn. It just smell. It's just tastes fresh. And it has that green kind of herbaceousness to it. Pour the rest in here, just in case, you know, there's some goodies at the bottom. 
I really like, again, very simplistic label, but really nice. Go for one more sip and then we'll try to uh, talk about it for a couple more seconds and lock in a rating. <clears throat> it's just so good. It finishes semi-dry but with, again, moderate bitterness. So it's very well balanced. Like It's sweet up front. Again, it's juicy citrus fruits, creamy candied kind of stone fruits. A little bit of passion fruit, more pineapple than passion fruit, middle of the palate. Now that I'm, I just took another sip, I'm kind of getting it. But all that is stopped in its tracks by that semi-dry finish and that pop of like a herbaceous, earthy, green kind of moderate bitterness. 7.5%, uh, you really can't tell. Maybe a touch of like uh, warming in the chest, nothing on the palate. This is fucking dynamite. That's what this is. It's really fucking good. For, you know, a, they say double IPA for a New England double IPA or a hazy double IPA. So many of these are from Hot Butcher. This is really good. Uh, definitely the best of the box they recently sent me. This is the third one. I got two more to go. And uh, we'll do tasting those momentarily. But I am going to lock in a rating for Greenfly from Hot Butcher. No problems giving this a uh, low 4.5 out of 5 and go 4.4 out of 5. This is fucking delicious stuff. I, I think it would be a higher 4.25 or maybe a straight 4.25 if it wasn't for that pop of moderate bitterness. A lot of times, you know, these 7.5% double IPAs can lean a little bit sweet. I don't think this one does. I think there's enough of that moderate bitterness, semi-dry finish. They're really balanced it out and make it infinitely more drinkable so I can drink the rest of this can, maybe even a couple cans, and not really worry too much about a cloying uh, kind of, um, you know, feel to the beer. So anyway, uh, tasting notes. Uh, bright tropical. Yeah, I said passion fruit, pineapple. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know if, I don't know if, again, that'd be the first thing that I would put. Again, I always read these like clockwise starting at like 11 o'clock. Maybe I should do it from the right, but bright tropical. Sure. I'll, like, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let it slide. Uh, candied mango. Yeah, I, I'd say candied stone fruits. I would say more peach than mango, but I, either way. And then juicy tangerine. And I said juicy tangelo. So yeah, pretty much nailed the last two. Um, the first one, Bright Tropical, very generic, but I see where they're coming from. Price and availability, shout out to Ross. This is like the bat signal for Ross. So Ross, if you see this review, um, he said that basically in the Chicago area, the IPAs that are like 6.5% or the 7.5% double IPAs are pretty much the same price, $15.99. I've seen a couple other people tell me they've seen these for like uh, a buck cheaper, like $14.99. So let's just say 15 to 16 bucks. Ross said they're 16, so I'll believe him. If this gets distro, you're probably looking 18 to 20. But again, these beers hitting distro, it's still worth it to pay five bucks a can because that's that good. And availability, it's Hot Butcher. I'm not going to go on a tangent here. I'm saying, all right, you can, you can find it if you want. So, you know, if you want something from Hot Butcher, do your due diligence, I would say. Check the interwebs and figure it out because they're not that hard to get at this point. And, um, I'm just, I'm very appreciative they send me their stuff, but whenever stuff hits distro from them, I'm going to buy cans um, because I owe it to them <laughs> to do so. They have sent me a lot of great beer, and when their stuff starts hitting distro, I'm going to definitely pick some up um, just to support them. So anyway, if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.